Guys, I've got the um, arcade running with the topper. This is going to explain to you what the topper's all about. It's just the LCD screen. It's going to show you what the go is, and then I'm going to um, turn the lights back on and explain. So there's the CRT, and that's the LCD. So they look totally different to each other, but if you like that, you like that, and if you like that one, you like that one. Anyway, we are going to press menu, go back down here, um, oh, we'll, gauntlet. we'll go press gauntlet, I'm just going to show you what it looks like, there's gauntlet. Turn the sound up a bit. So I've got my sound in here. You can't see that very well, but right there's the two of them there, like that. All right, so I've got Gauntlet. Uh, I've got any game in here, right? I can play any game, and it matches to the top. So we press Menu. You can press any game, right? So. We'll just say Ghost Hunter, make it easy, press menu, and they'll both play, of course, because they're both joined to connect, they're connected together. Now, the CRT on the bottom, that's an AV input because it's a CRT TV, um, and the top is just a, a uh, sorry, a VGA, so that's Ghost Hunter. So, if I show you my trackball. There you can see my trackball run around the CRT up there, and then you can see it actually up on here. Same thing. That's the that's the VG, uh, VGA LCD, and that's the CRT. So I got them on both. If you look for that cross there, I'll zoom back out on both. You'll see the cross on both of them. See in the same spot. Right, so I'm going to turn the lights back on. Actually, I'll, I'll flip over. No, actually, I'll turn the lights back on. You'll sit the bear with me. Right, sorry about all this. Right, now we've got that there running, right? So then all I do is, I'll explain this. I've got a jammer set up. There's the jammer set up, and that input, that input is there on that one. So that goes to, there's the jammer set up, right? Sorry, I'm not explaining myself properly. Goes from the HDMI to the VGA. Then VGA goes to a converter, which you can't see, and then it comes back comes back as this yellow one here and then when I flick the switch here it always goes to the TV now this one here is a Sony 2 PlayStation so that's a light gun and the two sounds for that so if I flick that over now Sony 2 so I've got a Sony 2 see the Sony 2 PlayStation there so if I flick that now flick that over So there's the, so I've still got the topper running for the jammer, right, the jammer's still running because it's time still going, crosses. and now I've got Time Crosses 2 playing on the light, on the PS2 light gun, so that's a, so I'm going to just do that, so you, while you're having, while you're getting bored or whatever, you've got something good to look at, and you can pick any game as a topper. Right, that's just loading for its PS2 gun. So I can pick the any game. So technically, technically I can press that. I'll go back to menu on the LCD. There you go. So now, even though PS2 is trying to load, I can look up here now and flick into the Ghosting Goblins. We'll press that. 
That's my clock. Don't worry about my clock. So anyway, that's going to load now. Ghosts and Goblins. So I can have that as my topper. There you go. So there's... So there's my PS2 gun, right? There's the PS2. And there's the um, Ghosts and Goblins for the topper. Now if I just want to um, not play a PS2 light gun game, which is going to start in a minute, So there you go, you can have you can have a light gun game in an arcade machine and still have the top art on any game you want. It's very easy. So I'm just gonna flick the, flick over this here now. Flick that over. And there you go. And now I've got my PS oh sorry, the jammer set up. And I can play whatever I want. The only thing is you've got to have a separate sound sound for the jammer so when you're playing when you're playing the ps2 game you've got to have the sound down on the jammer and the sound that goes through the ps2 goes through the tv speakers because this has got a separate sound speaker for the jammer anyway there you go hope that it helps uh, if you want to set it up like that okay bye